Hey, it's Kevin Long with the New Warehouse Podcast here at Modex 2022. I am in the booth and I am joined by Jay Jette. Uh, he is the CEO at GMR Safety uh, up in Canada, Canada based, and he's here at Modex and they're looking to uh, tell us about their, their safety offering and, and what they're bringing to the material handling in industry uh, in that sense. Um, so Jay, welcome to the show, welcome to the booth. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent, thank you. Excellent. That, that's fantastic. You know, most people say, like, oh, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good, but excellent is great. Um, so, so we're here at Modex, obviously, you know, getting together for the first time in a while. Um, so, so how is Modex going for you and, and GMR? I actually arrived uh, being okay, but uh, Modex was so good that now I feel excellent. Oh, wow. That, that's very telling of the show here. So if you're not here, you're, you're missing it, right? missing a great move right? absolutely it was yeah. uh, the attendance I think uh, is uh, probably record level oh, yeah. um, and the quality of the people also we met was uh, spectacular yeah. uh, luckily we have a great team um, that uh, got connection with uh, many mm -hmm. well some existing customer but a, lo a lot of potential new uh, oh, yeah. relationship we're gonna be making yeah, absolutely. I, I know your team is great. They're right here. They're actually watching us. And, uh, you know, they, they've been uh, very, very interested in getting in the booth. And they, they don't leave me alone. But I love it. It's great. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have a great team. I will testify to that. Um, so, so GMR Safety. Tell us a little bit about GMR Safety. What, what do you guys do? The um, company has been created in uh, 1996, so we mm -hmm. have 26 years of experience okay. in uh, protecting people's life in the warehouses, Okay. Uh, especially when you're loading unloading a trailer. Right. Uh, that's where we uh, come into action with our power chuck that is the uh, premium uh, brand uh, that we have okay. uh, to secure the operation uh, uh, of, at the loading docks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and obviously, you know, you're saying you're you're protecting people's lives in the warehouse, and that's a, that's a big responsibility. So, so with the power truck, uh, tell us about the power truck and, and how. I guess first tell us, you know, what the power truck is. But I'm interested to know how did the idea come about and how did it really uh, develop? Okay, well, um, transiting from a warehouse mm -hmm. to a semi-trailer right. uh, products, uh, then you have a moving vehicle that is receiving. Uh, with the lift truck uh, goods mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes miscommunication can happen mm -hmm. or a trailer creep and, and that would cause a separation between yeah. the uh, warehouse and the, the trailer that right. separation could lead into a lift truck falling off the dock mm -hmm. and people can get hurt or can get uh, uh, really uh, in bad uh, situation yes absolutely yeah so power truck is actually a solution that uh, is uh, set by the truck driver mm -hmm. uh, and it blocks the wheel to make sure that whenever there's a loading unloading operation mm -hmm. we secure the wheel of the vehicle we block the vehicle in place so it doesn't go anywhere yeah. and we connect our system with the uh, dock leveler or the, the door mm -hmm. to make sure that every operations are safe mm, interesting and so so now the the chalk itself because obviously you know the the classic standard chalk is just this rubber block Right, so Ooh. so you just stick this rubber triangular block underneath the wheel, and, and the wheel is chalked. But but the power chalk goes, you know, above and beyond that, obviously, right? So so talk to us a little bit about because you said it, you know, it gets integrated into the the power level and the dock and everything like that. Talk to us about that integration and where the the I guess the the power in the power chalk really comes in. Uh, well, we like to say that our equipment doesn't require any maintenance. It's mm -hmm. robust, it lasts all the time, yeah. and it can service virtually any kind of uh, vehicle that would come to a door. Okay. Uh, whether it's in America, in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, like 11 different models. Mm -hmm. And uh, our system can all be hooked up with the existing equipment when okay. it's a retrofit application. Yeah. Uh, whether whoever is the manufacturer of the door mm -hmm. or the leveler, we can hook it up and then integrate the, the safety sequence uh, with their operation. Mm -hmm. So it's fairly uh, the same thing we do in France, Germany, UK, right. or America. Uh, it's always the same thing. We mm -hmm. connect our equipment easily for retrofit application. Obviously, mm -hmm. when it's a new warehouse, yeah. we can do it too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think it, it's such a, a great thing to, to innovate on and, and advance upon because, you know, obviously the, the rubber block, like I mentioned, is, is not always as effective, whereas down over time. Um, and I think the power truck gives you a, a better sense of, you know, that, that truck really uh, being stable and that it's not going to move. 
right? Yeah. So, so now take me back. You guys, so you've been doing this since 1996, right? So, so I'm curious. You know, where did where did the idea for the power chalk uh, come from? Well, the chalk was uh, like uh, 60 years ago where people were right. using those blocks. Yeah. Uh, but uh, at some point they felt that there was a need for uh, enhanced uh, safety. And then they, come, right. they came with the vehicle restraint, uh, different models. Okay. Mostly were hooks in America. And then they came with wheel blocking system that ju did just the same, mm -hmm. uh, stopping the vehicle from leaving yeah. if there's a loading unloading operation. So today people need restraint they need to have vehicle restraint that would work for their operation mm -hmm. and in those cases there are a variety of solutions that are available yeah. our offer is uh, more um, uh, of uh, uh, securing the vehicle by the wheel mm -hmm. with a unique warranty that we provide to our customer that the system will not break for five years mm -hmm. even if there's a early departure attempts yeah uh, that being said uh, uh, we have uh, also, a way to do business that is quite unique to us, on okay. top of the five-year warranty, we develop partnership with our customers, which is oh, okay. key to the relationship. Interesting, yeah. yeah. And what, how does the partnership kind of work? Um, well, we do a lot of voice to, uh, voice to customer. Okay. That mean, we want to understand their need, yeah. and sometimes our standard solution may fit, but mm -hmm. we may have to adapt, and that's how we came with the e-commerce uh, chuck during the pandemic, yeah. we came up with two solutions to secure the delivery van. Okay. And one of the solution is to secure at the same dock the delivery van for the e-commerce yeah. and the regular semi-trailers. Uh, semi mm -hmm. And we won an award in Paris in November with that uh, oh, really? innovation. Really okay. cool. Congratulations on the award. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. And we're, we're providing that now to uh, US and uh, France and uh, all over uh, Germany and Europe. Okay, and so now the the different variations of the the power track. Now it's uh, the difference is the size, or, or what is the difference? There could be the size, uh, yeah. the, but the application is the driver. Got so it. whether you service uh, semi trailer, some some a lot of companies, especially in the food business, mm -hmm. uh, but for pharmacist pharmaceutical. That's a more difficult word to pronounce for me as a French guy. <laughs> pharmaceutical. Yeah. Um, well, how do you say it in France? So, so. Pharmaceutique. Oh, okay. Which yeah, is similar. We, yeah, we get the root. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so your question again? Yes. Yeah. So the the, the differentiator between the, the different uh, power Models. trucks. Models. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. So the application could be uh, semi trailers, mm -hmm. uh, lift gates, straight trucks, and the application would be different. So now we have the delivery van. Uh, we also have the uh, tankers that you can secure. So the application is to instead of preventing preventing them from leaving at the conventional mm -hmm. loading docks, right. uh, we prevent them from either leaving or backing up mm -hmm. uh, when it's a tanker. It's not a loading dock. And we have similar application also in Germany okay. for swap bodies that yeah. we don't see in America. Mm. Okay, very interesting. And, and you know, obviously, you know, with the different, uh, different applications, then you know, it makes sense that you want a system that's, that's tailored to that application for, for the most uh, safety a, as possible. Um, and being able to keep those people safe in, in the yard and, and making sure that you know, none of those trailers are, are pulling away or having any separation, like you mentioned earlier, is a, is a huge, huge thing. Um, so, so here at Modex, you know, how, when people are coming to uh, your booth and you know, they're asking, you know, what is it, the power chalk, or you know, maybe they're coming with a, with a need, what, what, are you, what are you hearing from attendees and, and what are some of the questions they're asking? Um, they're asking for something that uh, will be applicable in the, the, the reality of a warehouse, which is right. um, we don't have a ma ma maintenance team, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have trades, mechanics, or electrics anymore. Yeah. So they want to have something that's going to be reliable that will mm -hmm. ask for no maintenance. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the big aspects where right. we differentiate from others. Uh, our system is almost unbreakable with the warranty I said a little yeah. bit yeah. earlier. Mm. So that's what the people talk about. We hear more about efficiency and we're putting to market within the next year also at, uh, software to improve safety in the warehouse, mm -hmm. also collecting data at the status of uh, every docks where they are. Mm. And also with the autonomous vehicle, yeah. uh, there'll be a need for automatic uh, 
solution as well uh, yeah. because there'll be no drivers so our manual right. power check will not yeah. work for every situation uh, so we're developing this as well that we're going to have within the next year so yeah. there's a lot of innovation that is uh, that yeah. are still coming to market to address the need evolving quickly in the market today Wow, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of innovation definitely that, that's coming up and, you know, obviously uh, it sounds like we're, we've come a long way from just a rubber block, right? Well, we, we, <laughs> we've been experiencing an amazing yeah. growth. Uh, yeah. uh, we almost have zero aftermarket uh, business, mm -hmm. so our growth of 40% a year, almost, mm -hmm. for six years now, uh, has been coming only from, from new sales, yeah. new customers and uh, yeah. a lot of references to that. Yeah, wow. very interesting and great to see what you guys are doing for the industry. Obviously, you know, safety for us uh, at the podcast is, is top of mind. It's definitely a very, very important thing for us. And, and you know, in the warehouse in general, it should always be the, the first aspect of the job. Um, so very, very interesting to, to learn about uh, the power truck and, and GMR safety and what you guys are doing. So, so Jay, if people want to find out more information about GMR safety and, and the power truck, how can they do that? Uh, I think an easy way to do it would be just go to our website and connect with us. That's a very good and easy way. So whether they are in uh, Europe or America, it's going to be easy, or any states. Uh, you just go on uh, gmrsafety.com, and okay. you'll be able to find us. Okay, great. And we'll put all the information at thenewhouse.com as well. Um, so I'll say merci, Jay, for coming by the booth and uh, joining me here at the show. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much, Kevin, for the opportunity. Have a very good day.